Jeanette, please. You know this is a particularly difficult time for me to be away from the office. It's always a bad time. Ever since we've been married, Christmas is a bad time. Easter's a bad time. Summer's a bad time. Somebody has to pay the bills. The expensive penthouse apartment, the summer house, the fancy cars, they all cost money. I don't give a damn about those things, Lucas. Hi. I noticed you're sitting alone. Would you care to dance? No, thank you. I I'm expecting someone. Lucky guy. But thank you for asking. That's it for me. Good night, Isaac. You know, after you've been in this business a while, you get what's known as bartender's ears. And these bartender's ears could have sworn they heard you say you were expecting someone. From now on, I'll have to remember to whisper around those ears. <laughs> I just didn't want to hurt the man's feelings. Well, good night. A movable feast is Hemingway's best. It's always been my favorite. You mean you've read it? I just blew five bucks. Hey, Gopher, mm -hmm. got a book for you. It'll change your whole life. Hey, a movable feast. You can always use another cookbook. Sorry, Gopher, that's my book. It was a present. Well. <laughs> Let's see. If you're lucky enough to have lived in Paris as a young man, then wherever you go for the rest of your life, it stays with you, for Paris is a movable feast. A show off. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Jeanette, uh, why don't we, uh, why don't we go back to the house and uh, see if we can't talk things out, okay? There's nothing left to talk about. In a way, you did me a favor. I'll check into a hotel. Goodbye, Lucas. <laughs> <laughs>